Just like 9-11 changed the world we live in forever, I believe today's curse is going to have a lasting impact across the globe and reshape the way we do business. Sadly, local business owners like you are the most vulnerable and unless you adapt fast, you're at risk of losing it all. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can continue operating by making money online in addition to running your business so not only you can survive but thrive off a new business landscape. Interested? Stay tuned because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips, and tricks to help your small business grow online step by step and click by click. If it is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Toys R Us, Blockbuster, Woolworth, remember them? They've all disappeared from our high streets. Why? Because they didn't see the internet tide rise and got swallowed up by the Amazon, Walmart and Netflix tsunami. With the latest surge of people constrained to stay at home, internet usage is only going to grow, which means there is a massive opportunity for you to move some of your activities online and operate directly from the comfort of your home and of course make money in the process. If you don't know where to start, here are a few suggestions of what you can do which will help you on your way. Sell your products online. If you are selling physical goods from a brick and mortar location, why not expand your reach through virtual stores? You have access to millions of potential customers. Plenty of business owners have already made the move. Here is an example from a power tool store called Tools for Trade based in the UK. They obviously sell products directly from their own store, their dedicated website and have also created a virtual shop on eBay which I think is a pretty smart move. If you feel eBay is not the right fit for your business, you can try another online mammoth, Amazon. Same principle applies, you can set up a virtual shop and start selling your product. Here is a great example of a small farm called 1818 Farms located in Mooresville, Alabama. The owner has developed a range of products which she sells at the farm as well as on her own website. But where she saw the biggest impact was when she came across an artisan-only community created by Amazon called Amazon Handmade. There she was able to set up a very own virtual store. Natasha, the owner, has been so successful she was nominated the winner of 2019 Amazon's Women Owned Small Business of the Year. While Amazon and eBay are probably the most obvious choices for anyone wanting to sell their products online, they are not the cheapest. Yes, I forgot to say they will want a share of your pie. So there are other options you might want to consider such as Etsy. Very similar to eBay and Amazon in principle, Etsy focuses on handmade and vintage goods. This makes Etsy a little bit more niche but it has over 26 million buyers and is more cost effective than eBay or Amazon. Another less known platform is Bonanza. Created in 2007, it now offers 10 million items for sale all over the world and has been voted the best eBay alternative five years in a row. The great thing about Bonanza is that it has no contract, no listing fees and no setup costs. This could be the right platform for those of you who want to start selling online without breaking the bank. You might also want to consider other platforms which specialize in very specific verticals so you can zoom in on a particular audience such as Poshmark.com for anything and everything related to fashion, Newegg.com for computer hardware and electronic goods, Geartrade.com for outdoor goods or if you sell cars, you can become a car dealer online at cardaddy.com. But what about if your business doesn't sell any physical products but provides services to your clients instead? Let's have a look at what you can do. Service provider options. Inevitably, for certain local businesses, it will be difficult to provide services online. People like barbers, beauticians, locksmiths or roofers, for example, might find it difficult to offer online alternatives. But for the vast majority of you, I believe there are online options you should definitely consider. The fitness industry is already one step ahead of everybody else and is almost already mainstream, excuse the pun. Some personal trainers have even built their business exclusively on the premise of the internet, like this former soldier, Andy Griffith, who seemed to be doing very well out of it. If you are a more traditional face-to-face -face trainer and don't have a website or the technology already set up, there are platforms like welcomefit.com or gymgo.com that will facilitate everything you need for a fee and help you reach more clients. Other businesses have gone a different route and use YouTube live streaming options to offer classes which can be booked directly from their website such as this yoga studio located in East London. 
and it's also dirt cheap. Just in case you needed more convincing about how fast things are shifting, just head over to Google Trends and search for the key phrase online fitness. See how the demand worldwide started spiking in March? My hunch is this trend is likely to continue once people have got used to a new way of doing things, even when we are back to a normal type of life. And while we are on Google Trends, let's have a look at another search term, online therapy, and bingo, look at the spike. Why have a one-on-one -on -one consultation at a practice when it can be done from home? Everybody wins, the therapist and the client. And some companies already do this very well. Look at Amwell.com. They offer a massive range of online consultations, 24 hours a day and seven days a week. If you are a therapist and are currently struggling for work, you might want to consider joining their team so you can generate a sideline income. They're obviously not the only player on the market. Here is another example from a site called betterhelp.com, which also offers the ability to set your online consultancy on their platform. These platforms will obviously take a cut of your earnings. You can bypass them and simply offer your services directly from your website, like this local counseling and psychotherapy practice located not far from my apartment. In summary, any type of coaching, therapy and consultancy service can be offered online. You can either set yourself up or use a third party provider. If you're not already doing this, now is the time. I personally started offering online consultancy sessions almost two years ago and although at first I found it a little bit daunting, I have now totally embraced it. It's also extended my customer reach massively as I am able to provide consultancy to people from parts of the world I would have never considered before. But what about other industries with services that might seem a little bit more difficult to adapt online? Well, look at this veterinarian located in the UK offering online vet consultations. They are able to diagnose minor issues online as well as prescribe the right medication which can be mailed directly to the pet owner. What about plumbing? Can that be done online? Well, some of it can. Check out plumdoctorlive.co.uk. These guys offer a live video call with experienced plumbers who will help you fix basic plumbing issues yourself, provide a complete and impartial cost estimate for any additional work required, and they will also send you a plumbing report. Some businesses have been even more creative, like this whiskey distillery. Undeterred by the current events, they organized an online whiskey festival, which they broadcast live on YouTube and was watched by thousands. I'm not sure how much money they will be making through this, but because of its originality, they managed to get a lot of PR coverage, which undoubtedly will get them a lot of business and improve their rankings in Google. Now, being in the catering industry is clearly very rough at the moment since restaurants have been forced to shut down. The obvious alternative is home delivery. Once again, based on Google Trends, the demand for takeouts has rocketed recently. So if your restaurant can accommodate delivery, consider using services like ubery.com, delivery.com or foodhub.com. Top restaurants have joined the trend and it is now possible to have a Michelin star meal delivered to your house. L'atelier de Joël Robuchon, located in New York, is able to offer dishes that can be reheated at home. Amongst popular choices, you can find black sea bass, lobster penne pasta, mushroom velouté, and the icing on the cake, one or nine ounces tin caviar, all of which can be ordered via toast. Three Michelin star Alinea, based in Chicago, launched alternative menus of comfort food that can be ordered via a company that supports local restaurants called Toc. Contract workers and freelancers were the first victims of the lockdown and many of them have been laid off. If you are one of them, consider offering your services on platforms such as Fiverr.com, Upwork.com or Freelancer.com to tie you over until you can find something a little bit more long term. For those of you who think there is no alternative to doing business, try thinking outside of the box and look at other avenues. Try monetizing your skills online. Look at the example of this barber who created a very popular YouTube channel that has now over 600,000 subscribers and gets an average of 9 million views a month. I reckon he makes a decent amount of money in advertising revenue. If you don't know how to start a channel, watch my video, How to Start a YouTube Channel. You'll have one set up in minutes. Consider transferring your skills into teaching and put a course together which you can sell on a site like Udemy, check out this example. That's it for today. I believe there is a silver lining to every cloud and as you can see, there are plenty of options available for you, 
regardless of the type of business you are running. The trick is to choose the one that works for you. It may not work out the first time around, but be persistent. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? The beauty of this approach is it will open new doors for you in the form of new customers and additional streams of revenue. So if one fails, you have something to fall back on. If you've already gone down the online path, it would be great if you could share your experience or any suggestions I haven't covered in the comments below. Alternatively, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will do my best to answer them. Until next time, happy marketing.